Hi guys and welcome to the beautiful tropical paradise that is Samoa. We'll give you a quick tour around the capital Apia, check out the local markets and culture, then head to the coast to take a look at the pristine beaches and stunning natural features of these islands. If you could do me one favour, if you're not already, can you please ensure that you are subscribed to this channel? If you're not subscribed and you're getting some value from this channel, press the subscribe button. It's completely free to do so and it's really helpful to build our community and build our channel. Apia is located in the north coast of Apuu, Samoa's second largest island. Apia is the hub of Samoan's government, commerce and trade. Apia is also the ideal location for a visit to the islands. Starting from around $1,500 return, there are regular flights from Australia. However, this depends on your dates. Make sure you shop around to find the better deal. Entry requirements for Samoa are have a confirmed onward travel ticket, have a passport, permits or visas for the country you will be travelling to after Samoa, have proof of sufficient funds for your intended stay, have a confirmed residential contact address. The local markets in Napier are vibrant and colourful. Here you'll find clothing, souvenirs and fresh produce. However, try to avoid the markets and small retailers whilst visiting cruise ships are in port as the prices become a little inflated on these days. The Apia Culture Village is your one-stop shop for all things Samoan. You can witness the Samoan way of life through history, experience the tribal way of life through their traditional dances. When it comes to accommodation in Apia, don't expect too much. I don't think the Samoans have totally come to grips with the concept of tourism. A room for the night starts from around $80 and upwards to $1,000. As always, shop around to secure the best deal for your budget and needs. Voted by Lonely Planet's top 10 beaches of the world, Laomonu Beach is a stretch of white sand lined with traditional huts and houses and supporting stunning views of the outer islands. As for the budget, and not including accommodation, I would plan on $150 to $200 a day per person. This will cover your tours, food, transport and other purchases. Paya Waterfall is one of the most spectacular and most visited waterfalls in Upalu. See the water cascade dropping 100 metres into the gorge below. The falls untouched surroundings bring them to life and there is a feeling that you are the first one to ever see these falls. However, despite Samoa's coming up a little short in the tourist infrastructure, it is without question a truly beautiful group of islands in the Western Pacific. Its raw natural scenery and pristine beaches are really up to, if not better than some of its Pacific neighbours. As a tourist and holiday destination, Samoa has a lot of potential. Its natural charm and appeal is captivating. No doubt this is why the novelist Robert Louis Stevenson made Samoa his forever home and lived out the rest of his life in Samoa. Well thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this content. Please subscribe, comment and give this video a thumbs up. Safe travels.